Hi everybody, welcome back. We are going to read The Bunny Who Found Easter. So if you haven't gotten this book, follow along, okay? Have a nice day. Let's get started with the read this book. This is actually a school book. So I got this book. It's for Mars Elementary. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Have a nice day. And we are to get started to read this book. The Bunny Who Found Easter. One day, the button, the little bunny woke up from a long nap on alone under a tall elm tree. The, he heard the silence of woods around him and wanted other rabbits like himself for company. Can you tell me where I find where will I find other rabbits? He asked a sleepy old owl in the elm tree. Other rabbits said the owl. Why? Said the owl. Why? There are always rabbits at Easter. Where is Easter? Asked the little bunny owl gully. But the old owl had dozed off to sleep again in the bright sun. It must be some place to the east through the bunny and he set off searching. He dozed him off right here. He dozed him off right here. Right here. Okay. Before we move on to the next page, I got a few comments saying, oh, oh, what device do you film on? Computer. I have a GoPro. I don't have it, like, getting the plug it in to record my video. So I have to record it on computer. Okay, let's get back to the book. It was a hot summer day. The leaves in the tree stood still as a painting against a blue sky. The bunny found a pool of water, and down in the water, silverly drought flashed by. But there were no bunnies about. Then this can't be Easter, he thought, and went on his way. Nobody is right there. Right there. Nobody is. Okay. He came to a field full of daisies. There was a lot. A hot summer daisy smell over the field and the bunny's nose twinked. A big slow bumblebee hanged by hummed by but in all that witness whiteness of daisies there were no whiteness of bunnies like himself. This isn't Easter, the bunny said, and he went on. No Easter. Look at the poor bunny. Just dozing off. Once he caught in a summer storm, the sky looked like night. Suddenly looked at night. A streak of lightning. Lightning. 
the color of the stores. Four, three sky great one buildings. Bold from one end of the world to the other. The rain came down so fast that the bunny could hardly see the mountain wall just ahead. Slowly the rumbling rolled by. Slowly the sky whitened. Slowly the rain stopped. He could see the mountain floor with the wet shining leaves. Each flower cup filled with one sparkling drop of rain. But he couldn't see any other bunnies shaking the rain off the wet floor. No Easter, he said sadly and hurried on his way. Let's take a pause right there. Okay, so someone tell me. How was the Easter? I know you don't have a comment, but yeah, just tell me how your Easter was. Send a photograph. And yeah, let's get back to the book. Summer was nearly over. The leaves on the forest trees began to turn brown and gold and red. Dead leaves crackled under the soft rabbit hoops of the little bunny who was looking for Easter. He stopped under a tree to rest in a brown, shady, shiny red apple fell down and startled him. Look, you see that mouse? Mouse has been following him the whole time. That's a mouse. That mouse has been following him. Okay. It smelled of autumn and Christmas. He took a bite with his two front short teeth. When he had crunched the apple it to its seed, he looked around and signed. There wasn't another bunny to be seen. One day it began to snow, soft white flakes drift down from the sky and the air was sharp and cold and still when he hopped When he hooked through the white drifts, he left little dark footprints in the snow. But no matter which way he hopped, his footprints never crossed other bunny footprints. The little bunny was alone in the world without rabbits. There were Boards, little black scores like ink drops in the snow. Brown scores leaped about in the bare bunches of tree, trees. Once he saw a whole family of deer slipping in the forest at dawn, but there wasn't another long ear pink 
nose, nose, white furry rabbit like himself to be seen. This can't be Easter yet. He thought and born lone lines grew inside of him. That that night the bunny cord up in a hollow tree hollow tree to keep himself warm out of the the wind and sharp air. When he woke up the next morning there was something different. It smelled he quit his nose and smelled hard and it smelled of greenness and warm soft sunlight. The little bit felt the little bunny felt sure he would come to Easter soon. In the forest the black twigs and little tight cord green buns the birds were singing high up in the trees as the bunny hopped ahead looking for Easter. Suddenly he saw something in the muddy earth that made him stand perfectly still with excitement crossing in the front of him and And going into the woods where he had never been were little rabbit paw prints on the ground. He followed the paw prints very carefully down a hidden path. There is a clearing. He saw someone small and furry resting on the mosey blank. It was another bunny. She had brown fur. She had long ears like himself and eager bright eyes like himself. The little bunny was so happy to find her, he completely forgot about Easter. Hopping back through the forest with her, showed all the places he had seen on his search. At last they came to the tall elm tree where he had had forced elk and to find himself alone but now his lone lines were very happy together. Soon they soon they had a whole family of little rabbits, tiny soft sleeping things with long sweet ears and small wheat noses. The bunny's heart stopped with happiness at this wonderful earth smelling Sunlit bunny filled world. Ha, said the old owl when he saw the bunny's family. Did I tell you so? At Easter time, there are always rabbits. The bunny felt his little bunnies around him and the earth blooming behind them and all the things growing and understood at the last that Easter was not a place after all but a time when everything lonely becomes once again. The end. I hope you had a nice reading this amazing story. Okay? I hope you get to read this it's a very fun story. Have a nice day.